Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because this is one of the videos I look forward to making every single year. This is our WWE Royal Rumble 2019 predictions. Uh, obviously, I don't look forward to making the 2019 version every year, but this channel started three years ago and my very first video was a Royal Rumble predictions video. You could say that the Royal Rumble is where it all started for wrestling days. And uh, that's why it's a bit nostalgic for me uh, to do this video. And I look forward to doing it every single year. And certainly the channel has changed a lot in three years. Three years ago, I was sat there like, hey guys, um, so I think the three potential winners for... <laughs> Get out of here, Boratron. Uh, so let's get to this year's event anyway, because there is a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, the pre-show match, Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura. This is the United States Championship match. And uh, honestly, I think Rusev retains. We need to look forward to WrestleMania. We need to think what is going to happen with that United States Championship. There are too many big names for them to not do a ladder match or some kind of multi-man match. Like Rey Mysterio, Andrade Cien Almas, Rusev, Shinsuke Nakamura, maybe Mustafa Ali, who they've been building up recently, Samoa Joe. Like, all of these guys, I just don't see having a match at WrestleMania. They're all going to go into that Battle Royal. But they're bigger than that. They're better than the Battle Royal. I think the United States Championship needs a ladder match. Imagine a ladder match with Andrade and Rey Mysterio and Mustafa Ali. Like, the not who else is in it. That's incredible. So, uh, I feel like that's where they should build towards Keep the title on Rusev. Next up, we've got The Bar versus Miz and Shane McMahon for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. Now, I feel like this Miz and Shane team is going to be a team for a while. I don't feel like they're about to break it up anytime soon. Uh, I could actually see them winning the titles here and then defending them at WrestleMania. Part of me does wonder... Like, with Shawn Michaels saying he is not coming back, could The Miz face Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania? Could we get The Miz versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship? Something we were all predicting last year. They could totally do it, but I don't think any of us were predicting the fact that Daniel Bryan would be the heel and Miz would be the face. They could do that. Uh, but they would have to wrap this tag team storyline up quite quickly. I don't see that happening. So I think that Miz and Shane win the title here. Next up, we've got Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. This is quite difficult to call um, because I could see a few directions they could go. I think they will keep the title on Ronda. I think she will lose it at WrestleMania. Um, and so I think Sasha loses here. But how does Sasha lose? Is Sasha going to go crazy, start using kendo sticks and things like Charlotte did? Uh, could it be a, a DQ loss? Uh, could it be that Becky and Charlotte come down because Sasha's outnumbered? Could it be that we see Shayna Baszler getting involved? And there's so many moving parts here. We've got to build towards Mania. We've got to build towards Four horsewomen versus four horsewomen. We're sure to get all of that. I don't see how changing the title here is going to make a great deal of sense. I think Ronda retains, but be ready for an absolute car crash. I don't expect this to be a match. Someone wins. That's it. I expect a lot of moving parts here. Next, we've got the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Asuka versus Becky. Keep the title on Asuka. Please don't take that belt off Asuka. We haven't even started to scratch the surface as to what her championship reign should look like. So keep the title on Asuka. Next, we've got Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. And I'm saying the champion retains again. 
Uh, I really feel like WrestleMania was meant to be Daniel versus Shawn Michaels. But Shawn has really said he's not interested. He doesn't want that match. Now, it could be that AJ wins the title. Daniel Bryan goes on to face Shawn at WrestleMania. Uh, and the title isn't involved. If Shawn is swerving us, if Shawn is lying to us, then they could definitely do that. But I, I don't know if I see that match. I honestly don't know if I see that match. I'm wondering, I, I feel like Batista is going to return. And I'm wondering, are we going to get Batista versus Daniel Bryan? Because Daniel made Batista submit at WrestleMania 30. WrestleMania finished when Daniel Bryan made Batista submit. Could be that Batista comes back. Batista wanted Triple H. He can't have Triple H. Triple H is still injured. So how about he sets his sights on the main man? How about he sets his sights on the man that he blames for ruining his last run in WWE? From a storyline point of view, it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. He could go after Daniel Bryan. A Daniel Bryan now that people hate. This is, I, I feel like that is clever booking. I feel like that is the right way forward or at least a very good option. So, uh, yeah, I, it's hard to say because the title doesn't need to be involved in that feud. So he could drop it to AJ Styles here. Something's just telling me that he won't. Something's telling me that he's only recently won it. Why would he drop it here? What does it achieve? What's the point of it? I'm, I'm going to say that Daniel Bryan retains. Next up, we've got the Cruiserweights. We've got Hideo Itami taking on the champion. Buddy Murphy uh, taking on Akira Tozawa taking on Kalisto. Uh, I feel like there's so many people involved in this match. I feel like the chances are the title will change. Uh, Buddy Murphy's had it for a little while now. He's a very good champion. Puts on great matches. Arguably ready to be called up to the main roster, similar to Mustafa Ali. I would say Buddy Murphy is as good as Mustafa Ali. Um, so maybe he drops the belt. Uh, but who to? I don't think Kalisto, because Kalisto is in Lucha House Party and he's on Raw uh, more than he's on 205 Live. Uh, so for me, Hideo or Akira Tozawa... I feel like Hideo Itami deserves a run with that title. You are talking about one of the best wrestlers in the world in Hideo Itami. Give him a championship run. Let's see what a Hideo Itami championship run looks like. I'm going with Itami. That brings us to the Universal Championship match. Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. Brock Lesnar wins. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, apparently, Finn has said he is not bringing the demon. It is going to be Finn the man versus Brock Lesnar. Um, the reason being that he thinks he's used the demon a bit too much in the past. I feel like they're saving the demon for WrestleMania. And you might remember even WrestleMania last year, he didn't bring the demon. Um, I know this is a big match for Finn, but apparently there's bigger to come. Uh, the rumour is it is Undertaker versus Finn Balor at WrestleMania. That will be Demon versus Deadman. The story writes itself. So uh, I think they save uh, the Demon. I also think that's going to make it easier for Finn to lose here. Um, don't know if the Undertaker gets involved. Uh, I don't know how this plays out. But Brock Lesnar wins. Simple. And that brings us to the Royal Rumble matches. And the reason that we spent so long talking about the championship matches in the build-up to these is because they are going to have a big impact here. Even though Ronda and Becky are not facing each other, there's going to be some kind of interaction. There's going to be some kind of heat. We're on a collision course uh, at WrestleMania. Becky versus Ronda versus Charlotte. So for me, the match is going to be made that we're going to get Ronda versus Becky WrestleMania. Charlotte is going to be added to that because she wins the Rumble. She's the favourite. She's the favourite for a reason. Charlotte 
wins the Rumble. She wasn't even in it last year. She was a champion last year. Uh, I could see her winning it here. Surprises, very difficult to call for the women's uh, Royal Rumble. I would love to see Miko Satamora. Uh, I feel like she really uh, was the breakout women's star last year. She had some of the best women's matches in that May Young Classic. She's got experience. She's a legend. She's a living legend. She might be the best women's wrestler in the world right now. She really might be. I've always said it's Io Shirai, but honestly, I think Miko actually even eclipsed uh, what Io achieved in that May Young Classic. So I think Miko Satamora. I don't think Stephanie McMahon. There's a lot of people predicting we could get Steph, but I just don't think they're. I don't think they're doing that at the moment. Like putting McMahon's into matches. I think they are trying to move away. I think they're in a lot more segments. I think you'll see more promos, but I, I don't know. You'll see a match. So I don't, I don't think Stephanie will be in the Rumble. Um, and yeah, as I said, it's really hard to call. I feel like you could see someone like Karma. Um, uh, Karma is someone that would uh, get a decent reaction. Uh, I think she's on better terms with WWE now. Um, she's sort of retired. She's in glow. Um, and I could see her coming back and having one more run. I think the fact she's in glow and she's got commercial appeal uh, would actually kind of be of interest to WWE. Uh, so, yeah, I could see, you know, forgive and forget, people have done way worse things than what Karma did. So uh, I could see maybe Karma coming back. But, yeah, very difficult to call who the surprises are going to be for the women. For the men, Seth Rollins wins. Now, Seth Rollins is favourite. I still think we're getting Seth versus Brock at WrestleMania. I think that was the plan uh, uh, all along, and I think that's the match that we get. I don't know what they're going to do with Braun. I don't know where Braun fits into this. Uh, I could see Braun uh, facing Seth and the winner uh, faces Brock, but I still think Seth is going to get the nod. Um, I think they feel more comfortable with Seth. I think he's a better wrestler. I think he's a better promo. Um, I just think Seth's a bigger star than Braun, to be honest. Braun's great when he's flipping things over and going mental, but we haven't seen enough of that from him. So uh, I, I think they go with Seth. So Seth wins the Rumble. Surprises. I think we see Batista. Uh, I think we see The Undertaker. Uh, and I don't know about Kenny Omega. That's the question in it. Uh, I think there's a lot of obstacles to jump over. Uh, rumours are he's going to AEW, uh, and not only that, uh, WWE would have to negotiate with New Japan to get his uh, contract released early, because he's under contract till the end of the month. Um, WWE would pay the money to sort that. I think New Japan would probably want to see him go to WWE rather than AEW. So, yeah, I, I mean, look, it's in the realms of possibility. I said this last time. When I did my predictions for NXT UK TakeOver, I said there's every chance that we get Finn Balor in a match. It's, it's not likely, but it's in the realms of possibility. I said that, and it happened. We had Finn Balor versus Jordan Devlin. Um, so I'm going to say it again, because hopefully it's a lucky thing and this will work, because I really want Kenny Omega. Uh, so it's in the realms of possibility. Kenny Omega, it's not likely. But it's in the realms of possibility. Keep everything crossed. And that's it, guys. That is my Royal Rumble 2019 predictions video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, i see you again next time. Bye for now. P.S. Don't forget to join us for the Royal Rumble. We are live streaming during it over on Twitch. Twitch slash wrestling days or go to twitch and search wrestling days it's a whole community over there we're going to be doing live reactions live thoughts talking about everything that's going down as it goes down join us on twitch for the royal rumble live stream awesome guys i'll see you there